IHCN Studios. It's Braves Beat. Hello, Braves, and welcome to this week's episode of Braves Beat. I'm George Zaring. And I'm JC. So, JC, how'd you do in the PSAT? I feel like I did pretty good. How about you? Huh. Oh, I wouldn't know. I didn't take it. Wow. Well, we have a lot of news to cover, so let's get started. IH Experience Shifts and DECA are sponsoring a brand new event, and you are invited. Business at Breakfast will allow students to practice their professionalism, build networks, and explore careers. The start time is at 7.30, so make sure you can get there by 7.25 and can miss part of your first class of the day. There are three breakfasts planned, and the first one is on October 25th. There's a QR code on signs around the school, or you can check your Canvas page for a link. Apply by Monday, October the 16th. Indian Hill High School congratulates the 18 students who were recognized as part of the National Merit Scholarship Cooperation for their outstanding performance last year on the PSAT. Seven students from Indian Hill High School have qualified for the National Merit Sem Semifinalist Competition. Sophia Chen, Michael Chun, Justin Gennady, Tyler Huang, Ju Jameson, Rowan Kotian, and Chris Ranjan. In addition, 11 Indian Hill High School students have been recognized as National Merit Commended Scholars. Alice Castellini, Ishan Gandhi, Trent Hartman, Ewan G, Shri Masterzo, Robert Poffenberger, Jack Pollock, Miles Taylor, Alex Tran, Arjun Verma, and Claren Wang. It looks like our sports report is ready. Take it away, Micah and Patrick. Hello, Braves. I'm Patrick Langworthy. I'm Micah Solashatz. We have a lot of news to cover this week, so let's get to it. The football team beat Finneytown on senior night 47 to zero. They play at Wyoming at 7 p.m. tonight, so make sure to be there. Keep it up, guys. The field hockey team beat Summit 3-0 and play at Upper Arlington on Saturday. Good luck, girls. The cross-country team ran at the CHCA Invitational. Congrats to Harry Hong, James McGrath, and Claire Wiles. This weekend, they'll, complete in, they'll compete in the CHL Invitational at Talawanda. The boys' soccer team beat Taylor 7-0 on Tuesday and are now undefeated in the CHL during the regular season and have been crowned CHL champions. Great work, boys. Here are the results for the 18-0 girls' varsity tennis team in the sectional. Sophia Thompson finished first, along with Brooke Arrington with Lillian Dwyer. Caroline Brown finished second, and Lexi Larson with Cassie Larson finished third. On October 4th, Varsity Tennis defeated Marymount 5 to nothing to advance to the state Final Four. The volleyball team lost to Wyoming, but played Taylor on Thursday. We'll have those results next week. The girls' soccer team tied 2-2 two two against Taylor. Next week, they'll play at the OHSAA tournament. The boys' golf team will play at the OHSAA tournament at the Ohio State Golf Club. That's all the sports news we have this week. Back to JC and George at the news desk. Thanks guys, and good luck to our athletes and team as they finish their fall seasons. Career Connections are back. These are career learning sessions that allow you to explore potential careers. Four amazing speakers are scheduled for October and November. Check your class page in Canvas and Announcements and the Experience Ships folder. All events are during either lunch or MP, and all students can attend, but you must sign up in advance. The winners of the Big Pitch project called Project Tech has organized their first event. They will be inviting guest speaker Jared Wetzel for a tech talk on October 18th. He will be discussing opportunities surrounding technology and sustainability. You can find the sign up code on Canvas or on posters around the school. If you are interested in bowling this year, come to the Athletic MP room next Thursday during MP for an informational meeting. All right, Braves, that's all the news we have for this week. Be sure to follow us on X, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And, and remember, remember, hey, uh, aren't you guys forgetting something? Uh, I thought yeah. we talked about this. No, what are you doing? Maybe it's a certain month for a certain, I don't know, group of people. Uh, Seriously, nothing? No, I'll do it myself. Right. October is Italian Heritage Month, the month where we celebrate all of the influential Italian Americans in history. All right, and I'll right, see you well, guys later. Stay classy. Anyway. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of Indian Hill High School. Today, for this segment of Braves Beat, we're going to go around asking people what their favorite animal is. Now, what's your favorite animal? Um, an elephant. What sound does an elephant make? <laughs> I'm here with Hunt. Um, what's up, guys? <laughs> what's your favorite animal? Uh, T-Rex. <laughs> what does a T-Rex sound like? <laughs> Raw. <laughs> what's your favorite animal? 
pandas. They got the dream lifestyle, you know, sitting, being cozy. Uh, and uh, yeah, so pretty much pandas, you know. What sound does a panda make? Ah. Uh, that's all you got. Maybe some chomps. Yeah, there you go. John, what's your favorite animal? <laughs> a rat. What sound does a rat make? What's your favorite animal? A cat. What sound does a cat make? <laughs>